This one is gonna be controversial because in this video, we're gonna be looking at some of the greatest coaches to ever coach in the National Hockey League. And on top of that, we're gonna be ranking them. Who do you think is the greatest coach of all time? Is it Mike Keenan or Scotty Bowman? Or maybe a current coach like John Cooper? And for the love of God, as a Flames fan, I am not mentioning Daryl Sutter. But without further ado, these are the 15 greatest coaches in NHL history. Number 15. We continually infuriated and puzzled his players, but Mike Keenan seemed to always win. With eight teams across three decades, Keenan somehow managed to pull off 672 victories and a Stanley Cup with the New York Rangers in 1994. He also, of course, won a Jack Adams Award as the Coach of the Year. Number 14 became a National Hockey League coach at the age of 28. Almost 30 years later, Paul Maurice is still directing NHL teams. Currently, Paul Maurice is the coach of the Florida Panthers, aka the Rats. They got the biggest rat in Chell after all. But right now, he's currently second to only Scotty Bowman in the most regular season games coached and is already easily in the top five for all time wins. His teams have made two trips to the Stanley Cup Finals. He also managed to coach the Hartford Whalers, which are now the Carolina Hurricanes, the Toronto Maple Leafs, and the Winnipeg Jets. Number 13, though, has courted controversy and supplied the media who cover the NHL with some of the most surprising, confrontational, hilarious, and weird, just played out weird quotes during his coaching career. But there's still no question that John Tortorella is actually an outstanding coach. He has a very strict discipline, and he's very hard on his players. Obviously, this works better for some than others, but a bunch of former players he coached have actually come out to say they loved playing for the guy. Now the laughable coach of the Philadelphia Flyers, he also has coached the Tampa Bay Lightning, New York Rangers, Vancouver Canucks, and Columbus Blue Jackets. Torts has over 730 wins, a rig Stanley Cup with the Tampa Bay Lightning in 04, and two Jack Adams awards. But the reputation of number 12 has taken a beating over the last couple of years because of the way he treated some players. But Mike Babcock is still overall among the best standing behind an NHL bench. Babcock has over 700 wins in his coaching career with the Anaheim Ducks, Detroit Red Wings, and Toronto Maple Leafs. He won a Stanley Cup with Detroit in 08 and also managed to reach the cup on two other occasions, where his players, of course, forgot to play hockey. And Babcock also coached Team Canada to the gold medal in the 2010 and 2014 Winter Olympics. All right, fine, I'll mention him. Number 11 is a member of the hockey's most famous families, the one who should not be named, but I guess I'll name him for you, Daryl Sutter. He and his five brothers played in the NHL and are renowned for their work ethic and hard-nosed approach to hockey. Not surprisingly, Sutter was an old-school, no-nonsense coach, and he has been very successful in the past. Sutter has 737 wins as a coach, spanning 30 years with the Chicago Blackhawks, San Jose Sharks, Calgary Flames, and Los Angeles Kings, winning Stanley Cups with the Kings in 2012 and 14, and of course got his cup stolen from him in 04. Sutter also won Coach of the Year for the Flames not too, too long ago in 2021 to 2022. Now we're going into the real deal coaching staff. Number 10 is the all-time wins leader among American-born bench bosses. New York Rangers coach Peter Lavolier has almost 800 victory royales in over 20 seasons and has also coached the other New York team, the Islanders, Carolina Hurricanes, Philadelphia Flyers, Nashville Predators, and the Washington Capitals. He won the Stanley Cup with the Carolina Panthers in 06 and reached the Cup Finals on two other occasions. Number 9 is sixth in all-time wins with 849. Ken Hitchcock was one of the league's most respected coaches throughout his career. Hitchcock coached five teams, the Stars, the Flyers, Columbus, St. Louis, and Edmonton. He also won the Stanley Cup with the Stars in 1999. Hitchcock then led the Stars to the Cup Finals the following season, winning a Jack Adams Award. Number 8, plain and simple, is a Toronto Maple Leafs icon. 
Punch and luck, coached the Maple Leafs in 12 of his 14 seasons, running on the NHL bench, winning four Stanley Cups in the 60s. Three of these Cups were consecutive from 1962 to 64. One of the keys to these Stanley Cup victories was among the most daring and ingenious moves in NHL history. Imlach took Red Kelly, who had been one of the league's best defensemen and offensive threat in Detroit in the 1950s, and made him center. Kelly made the transition seamlessly. Imlach also coached the Buffalo Sabres for a year and a half. Number seven was the architect of the Detroit Red Wings, even giving them their name. There's a reason that the trophy for the National Hockey League's Coach of the Year is named the Jack Adam Award. Because Mr. Jack Adam was the general manager and changed the franchise name from the Falcons to the Red Wings in 1932, leading them to three Stanley Cups in the late 1930s and early 40s. He coached Detroit for 20 seasons and was the general manager for an NHL record 36 years. And while Adams was one of the NHL building blocks, number six is the model of the league's modern coaches, the Tampa Bay Lightning's John Cooper. Originally a lawyer and beginning his coaching career when a friend suggested he should just step behind the bench of a high school team in Michigan, time would tell that this was a good suggestion. Because Cooper had over 500 wins in 12 seasons, and he's led the Lightning to two Stanley Cups and the Cup Finals in two other occasions. He's absolutely a master of connecting with his players. Number five is third in all-time wins. And when Barry Trotz finally won a Stanley Cup in 2018 with the Washington Capitals, it was hard to find anyone in the NHL who was not happy for him. Because Trotz has been one of the most respected and well-liked coaches in NHL history for his entire career. Man's got 914 wins with the Nashville Predators, Capitals, and New York Islanders combined. Trotz has also won two Jack Adam awards. Number four is the last coach to win four straight cups. Al Arbor led the New York Islanders to Stanley Cup victories in 1980 to 83. And maybe this is even more impressive. His Islanders team won 19 consecutive playoff series from 1980 to 84 because after winning the four cups, they lost it in the 1984 cup finals to the Edmonton Oilers. Arbor won 782 games. Number three is recognizable by a single letter, the letter Q. Joel Quenville is second all-time in wins with 969 and three Stanley Cups with the Chicago Blackhawks. He also coached the St. Louis Blues and Florida Panthers in 25 seasons behind the NHL benches. Number two's team absolutely dominated the NHL throughout his coaching career. In the 13 seasons that Toe Blake coached the Montreal Canadiens, they won eight straight Stanley Cups. Five of these Cups came in a row from 1956 to 60. They also won Cups in 1965, 66, and 68. Now, those teams featured some truly great talents including Jean Beliveau, Maurice and Henri Richard, Doug Harvey, and Bernie Geoffrin, but it's still eight cups in 13 seasons. Now this brings us to the golden glory, the greatest coach in NHL history. He's in the Hockey Hall of Fame before his coaching career even ended, Scotty Bowman. He was elected to the Hockey Hall of Fame in 1991 and actually returned to coaching just a few months later. Bowman owns just about every single NHL career coaching record, and his career spanned from 1967 to 2002. He bettered Blake with nine Stanley Cups, winning them in three different decades with the Montreal Canadiens in the 70s, Pittsburgh Penguins in the 1990s, and the Detroit Red Wings in 1990s and 2000s. He also coached the St. Louis Blues and the Buffalo Sabres. In addition to nine Stanley Cups, his other records include 2,141 games coached and 1,244 of them being victories. So there you have it. The 15 greatest coaches in NHL history. Do you have a favorite coach that isn't on the list? Leave a comment if you strongly disagree or agree with our rankings. And let us know what your top 15 coaches are. Click the video on the screen to watch the 15 best goalies in NHL history. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Don't be a bender. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Help the algorithm. Help us grow. And see you next time.